one of the benefits, if you want to call it that, of having been a former mailman is that I know pretty much all the roads around here in Brevard County. I was a, a what they call a CCA, City Carrier Assistant. So I've done a lot of the mail routes in Brevard County from Palm Bay all the way up to Cape Canaveral. And so I know weird stuff like that on this particular area here. Uh, I think this is called Morris Court. It's in um, West Melbourne. There are peacocks. Well, you know, that looks like somebody's pet. It's not. It's at somebody's house. But it's a peacock and he's choosing that spot because the sun's hot. And he's out there right now just chilling and looking at us as we look at him. I think it's a male because I think um, the colorful ones, you know, the ones with the fancy tails and stuff, when he opens it up, are males and not females. So that's a male. But they have this really nasty, nasty scream. They go, ah! It sounds like somebody dying or something when they want to scream. And surprisingly, I don't see one here. Normally, there's like two or three of them. And they walk the street, terrorizing the street. But I've got my son here with me, and we were just heading back to the house, and I decided to stop by here. To show them, you know, that there's peacocks here. And you can see it right there. There it goes with its uh, fancy tail. It's a fairly large bird. I mean, if you look at him from head to foot, he's about four and a half feet long from his tail. See him right there? And it looks like he's actually um, just looking around for food there, picking through the garden. But this is the kind of stuff you see in Florida, believe it or not. Now, some of you are wondering what the neighborhoods, I think it was Julianne was wondering what it's like living around here, but um, this is like a typical neighborhood around here. Not the higher end ones, just a normal neighborhood. And, you know, some of you were saying, I should, was it Judy says, I should try to do a dog pooper scooper service. Well, this neighborhood is actually kind of normal, maybe somewhat well off compared to a lot of the neighborhoods. People don't pay other people to come scoop their dog poop around here. <laughs> so, yeah, I know for you it might have worked really well, but if I tried to do that business around here, I don't think I would get any clients. Look at this. Here's their dog. Look at that poodle coming up. I don't know. Is that a poodle? What kind of dog is that? It's a poodle. It's just wet. He's like playing and running around in their yard, but this is a typical neighborhood around here. It's, it's one of the um, not new, not old neighborhoods, but they don't spend a lot of money on stuff like that. You know, people just sort of um, do what they do, and um, they don't spend money. <laughs> so that's why you see me making decisions the way I do. I mean, it's based on everything that you, you know about the area, and one of the weird things or cool things is, oh, that squirrel on the road. I hope that's not tiny. But um, basically, you get to know weird stuff like where the uh, peacocks hang out. Or where to go to talk to the dolphins and have them come up. Maybe we'll try to get the dolphins to come up, you know. The, uh, the thing about those dolphins, I don't know if you're aware of this, but they're, like, really intelligent. And if you go there all the time at the same time, they start to know you. And they see you as a friend. And they might actually show up and hang out with you. So, you know, it's not, like, something as weird as you think. It's just the animals aren't as dumb as people think. And they do recognize people and do respond. Anyhow, road's getting busy, so I'm going to stop filming and try to merge back here into the traffic.